Oh, this is my manly man voice. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pride Month Games of 2021. We're here with Contract Demon by Nom Nom Nami. This uh, creator has a lot of lesbian and eerie content. If So if this looks like something you're interested in and you want to play something similar, I would go check out their itch.io. We're also going to play one more game by them uh, within this month, but uh, we're going to hold that off for uh, later. So right now, we're going to play Contract Demon. May this melody reach the deepest pits of the netherworld! Ooh. Camilla, if you're listening, I invite you to this world! Let's form a contract! I don't know who's talking, I don't know my voice. So, you've called upon me again. Eleni. Eleni? Eleni? Eleni. Eleni. Tremble and fear, pathetic fool, for I, from the very depths of oblivion, have brought... The book you asked for. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see the dynamic here. Uh, she needs a higher-pitched voice. Eee, show me, show me! Here, a comprehensive guide to capturing princesses. Not sure you'd want a guidebook aimed at overlord level demons, but... Of course I want it! It's important to learn what kinds of knowledge they want to pass down to future generations. You're not secretly vying to become an overlord, then. <laughs> I wonder. By the way, do you really have to wear those robes every time you summon me? Yes, it's part of the ritual. This is the third time we've done this. I have to be dressed for the ritual, Camilla! And is the daily ritual really necessary to our original contract? If I don't set the mood, it won't be as fun! It gives you an excuse to make a fun, demonic entrance, too! Any entrance I make is demonic. For I am a fearsome demon, a creature born from the the nightmares of pathetic humans. Is it really how demons are born? Do you think I could dream a demon into existence too? No, that's not really. But... But I dream about demons all the time. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I'm an angel? N no, I, I just meant that we're supposed to be like a human's worst fear. I, I don't know. Huh? Then how are demons born? Just... Never mind. Well, you see, when a daddy demon loves a mommy demon very much, he will let another demon <laughs> cuckold him in the corner, and then out of the beautiful threesome that is that, sometimes a demon babu is formed who will totally be gay and it'll be awesome. Just, never mind. Why are we talking about this? You're the one who brought it up. Here, let me get the lights. Ah, that's much better. Then don't bother with that atmosphere in the first place. Is it okay if I come up with a new task for you so I can get to reading this new book? Huh? Yeah, I, I mean... Don't casually believe I'll obey your whip- Ow, cat! Why did you claw me? My cat has been so needy lately. Like, seriously, I think she gets mad when I do the ASMRs or something. It's, she just constantly is clawing me to get my attention nowadays. It's both cute and annoying. You know, cats. Don't casually believe I'll obey your whims. Think seriously as to what you'll offer your soul. Your next wish may be your last. Oh, is there a three wish limit? Like a genie? That was supposed to be like a threat on your life. Let's do a one contract per day minimum. That's my new contract with you. Refused. What? Thought that would be a good one. I can't let myself be monopolized by one client. 
I'm just starting out. I need a wider range of experience. So I can't play with you every day? So I can't play with you every day? Absolutely not. F fool you think demon summoning is a game? These contracts have grave consequences for your soul. Oh, I don't care about that. I'm an angel. I don't have a freaking soul. Whatever the price is to talk to a demon, I'll pay it. Uh, seriously? I'm asking you to... And wow, my voice is terrible today. <coughs> Ow. If asking you to come back every day is too much, then... My new contract is for you to hang out with me for the next 24 hours. W weren't you about to read that book I brought you? I can find something to entertain you in the meantime. What's important is that we're here together. Plus, this is basically an ad addendum to our original contract. Friends should spend time together. Aren't we friends, Camilla? Well, this is a bit manipulative. <laughs> Due to that contract, yes, ongoing interaction would be required, I think. I just didn't realize ongoing meant daily. Yeah, sure, haven't you seen Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? She owns you now. You're agreeing to this one, though, right? I have no objections. It's a fair contract. Spend the next 24 hours, quote, hanging out with you, and then you give me a break for a few days, all right? Okay! Good, then it's decided. I, I mean, the contract is sealed! <laughs> she seems fun. <laughs> New contract has a time obligation. Be back tomorrow. Okay, no lasagna for you tonight. I'll have leftovers. Oh, that's someone else. New contract has a time obligation. Be back tomorrow. Someone else. Okay, no lasagna for you tonight. I'll have leftovers. Not if I eat it all. Brother. Oh, I'm giving him a higher voice. Not if I eat it all. Brother. You're truly a demon among demons if I can only learn from your evil ways. Such praise. I'll leave you my scraps out of mercy. Wow, I'm grateful. <laughs> eh. That was cute, though. <laughs> Are you done reading yet? I'm bored. <laughs> Sorry. I'll take a break. This book is really funny. I'm sure the author would be disappointed to hear that, considering it's a technical manual. Did you finish reading that comic? Huh? Yeah, like an hour ago. What'd you think? Is it any of the demon lore accurate? It's totally in line with my vision of the netherworld, so I have to know! Uh, you aren't... Uh, you aren't the least bit embarrassed to say a comic called Succubus Sex Party is your vision of the netherworld? It's my ideal! Was it too good to be true? Yeah. Also, you're pretty brave to hand that... I mean, hand over your porn to someone you barely know. That one's pretty tame, besides... You read all the way through, so it must have been fine. You read all the way through, so it must have been fine. I, I didn't have anything else to do. Do you like succubus ladies too, Camilla? We're not talking about this. <laughs> okay, sorry. Then what do you want to do next? Uh, I don't know. You're the host here. Friend stuff. Demon friend stuff? What do demon friends normally do? Well, you see, we play this game called Chicken. Demon friends, hmm. Mwahaha! <laughs> Demons despise the very idea of petty friendships. What a waste of time. So there's no demon friend stuff to do? Of course not, you fool. What do you think we do, braid our hair? Oh, shit. Thus, by capture the princess. You be the overlord and I'll be the princess. Aren't, aren't you a bit old for <laughs> that? Huh? It, is that a real thing? I just made it up! Try to capture me! Is... is this just tag? It's just tag. Demons play tag too. Demons play tag too? Hee <laughs> hee! Very well. I shall engage in this game of tag. <laughs> Actually, I like that transition. The evil... The evil lord... Bleh. The evil overlord is after me! <laughs> I'll capture and imprison you, like a true overlord would do. 
Wham! Wham! I'm cornered! Wow, you fell for this hook, line, and sinker, uh, demon lady. Camilla. I have you now, princess! Oh no! Whatever am I- What are you going to do to me? Uh, I- Imprison you. Right? What about after that? W wait for a year to come challenge me? A and then I shall slay him remorselessly! Mwahaha! Hehe, <laughs> so you fight to protect me, Miss Overlord? Uh, uh, hold on. Are princesses supposed to talk like that to their captors? This one does. Isn't that kind of messed up? We're just playing. And if you don't like it, I guess we could do something else. Are you hungry? Oh, what do demons eat? Meat, right? S stop right there. Do not try to ser- Do not try to serve me something weird like human flesh, okay? Mind reader! We're really on the same wavelength now. Uh, <laughs> you're a dangerous angel. So what should I cook? Well, you see, we always love skeddy. Or maybe food made by an angel would poison you? I didn't consider that. It only become poison if you put something weird in it, like your hair or something. Maybe I'd be better off eat, mean, eating out. Give me some McDonald's. Nothing more demand than McDonald's. No, 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 you can't go outside. Everyone would freak out. Oh, right, angels. Okay, so we're in heaven right now. Well, I mean, this game's version of heaven. You get what I'm trying to say. We might be able to disguise you if not for your long horns. Oh, maybe we could put some stockings over them and look like a bunny. Pass. Just order pizza or something. Pizza! Demon pizza! We're not going to deliver from the netherworld. Just order your regular angel pizza. You know, uh, I love to consume human pizza on a regular basis, so, uh, I, I, I get the, uh, enjoyment that is human pizza, but, um, uh, I can't help but wonder what will be on demonic and angelic pizza, respectively. <laughs> okay, I'll order pizza! I got pizza for dinner. That's very lasagna-adjacent. Will you still want leftovers? Please? What's that? Huh? My phone? A demon phone! That's my first time seeing one in real life! Do angels not have smartphones? Nope, but I've read a little bit about them. Smartphones were invented by the great demon Can Candada? Candada, who wanted personal handheld access to the netherweb. And then his idea was stolen and mass produced, so now demons can be connected all the time. That sounds about right. So it's incredible! Angels don't have things like that! Yeah, that sounds inconvenient. Not really! Our lifestyles don't really call for it, plus they're illegal. I illegal Were you texting someone? My brother. You have a brother?! Whoa, yes, he's also my supervisor. Brother and a supervisor. Is he strict? Does he look like you? Is he even taller? I mean, logic says those are the case. Sometimes. Uh, somewhat similar. And yeah, he's taller than me. That's so tall! And are demons really tall? I wonder what the average height is for demons. I would assume pretty tall. D do you have any family, Eleni? Nah, who needs them? It's just me. Huh. You can access the netherweb through your phone, right? Even though you're not in the netherworld? Oh, uh, I have a reception through the summoning circle, yeah. Wow! If you want to borrow it, we're gonna need to do a new contract. N no, it's too much power. I'm not ready for the netherweb yet. Sure. But if you want to... But if you want to, um, watch a movie? A demon movie? Yes, a demon movie. Can we? Can we please? Watch it just be like... I don't know. <laughs> Labyrinth? <laughs> That's a demon movie, right? <laughs> hmm. 
But are you prepared? Your eyes could melt out of your skull from the brilliant darkness of demonic horror cinema. Labyrinth. Melt my eyes, please, Camilla. Very well, this got kinky. Turn down the lights, embrace um, your very soul. This job is cool. I just got to watch Train to Abaddon and take a long nap. Reminder not to date your clients, Camilla. It's not a date, lol. Can't two people watch a movie without it being a date? What is your problem? Wait, were you joking? Now I'm embarrassed. We should talk when you get back. Okay, but just to be clear, I'm not dating my client. You're gonna get made fun of. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you're already up. <laughs> I slept for so long. I must have been worn out from how exciting yesterday was. Do you need a shower or anything? No. Oh, do demons bathe? Yes, demons bathe. How rude. <laughs> sorry, just asking. No, um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap or anything. You just ask a lot of questions like that. It's kind of racist. It's okay, you're right. I have been asking you too many questions. Can we watch more demon movies? Oops, that's another question. Yeah, there's time for one more until my 24 hours are up. Oh, you really have to go? That was my contract. Then let's do another contract once the time is up. I've already explained this to you. You get one per summon. I can't go against regulations or I could lose my job. Oh, yeah. And don't forget our contract this time states you must refrain from summoning for the next three days. So even if you try, it won't work. Is that what it said? I thought it just said some time and now we're just specify- I don't know. Yeah, I know. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just really tired for some reason. <laughs> I just think I need to eat something. Right, um... Get some food and I'll pick out a movie. Wanna see more demon zombies? Oh, Camilla! You really know the way to my heart! And so, their contract ends. Welcome back! Oh, sorry, welcome back! Oh, this is my manly man voice. Even though he's, let's face it, not the manliest man. <laughs> he looks cool, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, my, my voice is like, uh, I'm, I'm aiming for, like, gruff. Gruff, uh, dude who does, like, chainsaw work. Ugh. You know. You know, what are they called? Um, the lumberjacks. Yeah. <laughs> Someone pick up that goddamn phone! <laughs> Is now a good time? Did you prepare a lecture? You totally have the wrong idea, you know? Haha, <laughs> please, just listen, Camilla. Summoners are our clients. Nothing more, nothing less. We have a fill of requests, and they repay us with bits of their soul. And then one day, when they die, the netherworld claims the rest, and they're reborn as a demon. I know how it works. Then you know that our job is important. We can't ad advertise our services. We can only wait for souls from other worlds to call upon us. We depend on our limited clientele to rely on us in a professional manner. The more contracts they make, the sooner the netherworld can claim their soul. Which is why dating a summoner becomes problematic. Do you understand? I'm not dating her, Olog. What kind of demon goes on dates anyway? I don't have a romantic bone in my body, so there's no problem. Friendships are off limits too. My point stands. Camilla, you cannot be friends with someone you are literally draining the life from. Yeah, tell that to her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not a problem. She's contractually obligated to not summon me for three whole days. So 24 hours together, and then three days apart. I would love to read over the, your contracts with that witch. She says she's an angel. She says she's an angel. Background check says she's a witch. Why would an angel summon a demon? Don't know. Are angels even real? They must be, right? Some world cut off from our own. I've, I've said this before, and I'll say this again. I love the idea of fiction, like, acknowledging that just because... One supernatural thing is real doesn't mean that they're like all real. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the whole 
the whole does a god believe in the afterlife thing, you know? Um, here, obviously, it's do demons believe in heaven. <laughs> I, I love that in fiction, because it's one of those things of like, just because they know one thing is real doesn't mean they know all the things are real. Hmm. Two weeks later. Are you sure there hasn't been any summit attempts in the past week? Just like I said yesterday, your witch must be busy with something. This is weird. Yeah, it is weird. Do you... Th Did you do something to scare her off? No. I mean, I don't think so. You seem kind of frantic, Cammy. It's weird, isn't it? Someone summons you for three days in a row and then nothing. For two weeks? What did I do wrong? You're the sentimental type, aren't you? I'm not sentimental, I'm a demon! Want me to hook you up with a new summoner? Uh, I don't know. See? Sentimental. You don't want to give up on the one you had. That's not it! Uh, uh, ask me again tomorrow. I'm clocking out. I'm not sentimental. She really wanted to keep summoning me. That's what she was saying. So it's weird that she isn't. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna predict. This is purely prediction. Um, I'm predicting that she lied about being an angel, she's actually a witch, and she's going to die and be reincarnated as a demon, and then they could be friends all they want. And she was on her deathbed when she summoned her. That's why she was big on- big on, uh, spending time with her. That's it. Oh, and that's why she wants to learn about the, uh, over- Lord stuff because she's gonna be a demon. That's it. I'm putting down my cards in my predictions. There's nothing more to it. It's just something weird that hap It's just something weird that's happening. I want to know why. That's all it is. Why does everyone think it's because I got attached to her or something? It's so it's all so stupid. Meanwhile Can't believe they found me out. Can't go back there now. Oh no, I guess she was an angel. Oh, but my ritual gear! There's no one else I- There's nowhere else I could have left it. Ah! I want to see Camilla again. Oh, is this love? Love between an angel and a demon! Even if that's what I hoped for, I didn't seriously expect it. But how can I summon her again? I have to get a new flute. And the rug, too? That took a lot of effort to make, right? Oh. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, wah, wah. <laughs> I can't do that noise. Unless. <laughs> that's ca that's crazy enough to work. And if it does work, we must be soulmates. Oh no, I really like the sound of that. Wah! I can't. I never. <laughs> wah! I never thought I would be a real crush. Get a real crush. Words. Wait for me, Camilla. We'll reunite for sure. And away I go. Away she goes. Two more weeks pass. If you want to be successful as a contract team, and you'll need to be able to find common ground with each new client. Sometimes a summoner may ask for something truly unreasonable. That's not where you should be shying away. Rather, it's the point of attack. If you can at least meet them halfway, then both parties will come out of the deal satisfied. Camilla, are you even paying attention? Yeah? Then please try a little harder to get your next contract settled. It's a waste of everyone's time when negotiations are just dropped. Oh, there's nothing to negotiate with that last one. It was just another sex thing. Why are humans so obsessed with getting fucked by demons? Language, Camilla. <laughs> yes, because demons give a shit about language. Whatever. Everyone who summons demons is an idiot. Look, I know you've been feeling a little depressed after that first client disappeared, but isn't it time to move forward? I still think it's weird. And I'm not depressed about it! Stop shying that- Stop saying that every time I look a little tired. Sorry, but clearly it's still bothering you, and affecting your work ethic, which is why I have to bring it up as your supervisor. Ugh. Do you want to talk about it? Maybe some other time. Sorry. I'll try to focus on work. Alright, I'm here to listen whenever you're ready. No, Support a big bro. An entire month later, wow. Those were angel wings, right? 
Or is it cosplay? Dude, if there was a real... Oh, it's a, some other demon. Dude, if there was a real angel in the netherworld, wouldn't we have to duke it out? Like, as demons, aren't we supposed to? Angel wings? Camilla, I finally found you! W what Why are you here? Okay, so, long story, I got kicked out of where I was living, and then I lost some of my summoning gear. A real tragedy. I know. A real tragedy, I know. So I couldn't summon you at all, and then I thought, why don't I just go to the netherworld and find her? So I made my way here, and now we're finally reunited. You, you, find me in the netherworld as if it's so easy to do? The netherworld is huge. I know. Do you... Do you have any idea how lucky you are that we just happened to cross paths today? Fate brought us back together. Fate. That's what you call your GPS, isn't it? <laughs> I've, ac I've actually gone... I've actually gone to a lot of different demon cities looking for you, you know. You have to go home. What? After all this? Take me to your place. <laughs> um, that would be a really bad idea. Hey. Hey, are you a real angel? Yeah, hey there. P please stop. You'll draw a crowd. <laughs> what are you doing in the netherworld? Aren't you going to get killed? Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, you can come with my to me. Okay, you can come to my place. Let's go. Hooray! <laughs> I'm in Camilla's room. You're lucky my brother isn't here. Um, what did you bring back with you? Did you happen to have your robe in that bag? Yeah, I brought it. Why? Because my brother can't know you, who you are. You must want to stay here for a bit. If you want to stay here for a bit, you need to pretend to be a demon. Oh, I see. You can dress me up like a demon, but I don't get to dress you up like a bunny? What? Never mind that. Put on the robes and then, uh... We need to do something about your skin tone. Shit, he's here. The robe should be enough. <laughs> Fuck, it's the cops! The robe should be enough. Just keep your hood low, okay? Okay. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about her, this whatsoever. Hey, Camilla, for dinner I was thinking... Oh, I didn't realize you had someone over. Ula! I mean, Olag! Olaf! This is my friend! We we met on the netherweb. She's shy around men, so please make yourself scarce. I'm sorry I invited her without any notice. <laughs> uh, Alright. Alright. Sorry to intrude. I'll knock when dinner's ready. He really does look like- He really does look like you! He's taller, like you said! That was pretty mu- that was a pretty good lie about me, too. One that only works if he's polite. A polite demon. What's the catch, I wonder? <laughs> Camilla? This is so stressful. I bet. What's stressful? I'm having fun! Ah, uh, Eleni. <laughs> I've just been going with the flow, but... Why do I have to pretend to be a demon again? Because I wasn't supposed to make friends with clients. But your very first contract was to be friends. I know I messed up. I know I messed up. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm really causing a lot of trouble for you by coming here, huh? It's not your fault. I couldn't just not see you again. I'm sorry. I didn't summon you like normal. I should have tried harder to get the stuff for it again. But when I thought about somehow finding you myself, I got really excited, and I had my heart set on doing that. Uh huh, sounds just like you. Camille, I've had a lot of time to think while I was searching for you. I love demons, but I can't be satisfied becoming friends with just any demon. It has to be you! Uh oh. And for corrupting my heart like that, you must be punished. Let me get the whip. Oh my. You're, you're punishing me? I love how she's in slippers. Well, you were punished enough by me showing up and causing trouble, so now we're even. <laughs> You're so outrageous. Teehee! Did you miss me, Camilla? Yes, I just teeheed. Get over it. I, I... I don't know. 
Maybe I was fixating on you out of guilt, but I actually had a lot of fun whenever you summoned me. Did you know? Because you made a contract with a demon, your soul belongs to the netherworld? That's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me, Camilla, is it? I've been- I'm being serious. Each contract takes a bit of your soul as payment. When you die, you'll be reborn as a demon. I'll become a demon? That just keeps getting better! No, you don't understand. It won't be you anymore. You don't get to keep being in- You don't get to keep any of your memories when you're reborn. Oh. I thought I could do this job. I thought I could be the scary- I could be the big scary demon taking souls in exchange for favors. But I never wanted- But I never want to do a f you a favor again if it means I'm chipping away at your life. It's fucked up! Yeah, it kinda is. But you're a demon, so... I don't mind. Eleni. I don't care if it hurt me. I don't regret summoning you. What? So, I guess it's... So I guess it's good I came here after all. I won't summon you anymore. We can just get to be together, like normal friends. Uh, okay, yeah. If you're not my client, then we can be friends. Or girlfriends! Whoa. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> um... Looks like dinner is ready. Thanks, Olog. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm just saying, Camilla. Think about it, okay? <laughs> Later that night... So that's everything that happened. Sorry I couldn't talk about it before. Oh, so she just came clean? I understand why it would be hard to talk to me about all that. I can also imagine you wanted the problem to conveniently fade away without having to tell me your mistake. I was just, It was just looking like it It was looking like it might, until she showed up today. Right, so here we are. Hey, Olog, is there any way to cancel a contract? I never should have made it. I never- I should have- I shouldn't have agreed. I was just going with the flow. Does being her friend outside of summoning still count as me doing her a favor? Does it keep taking bits of her soul? It was my first contract. Why did I settle on something so vague with thinking it would be fine? I'm an idiot! Well, if the contract is interpreted as the act of starting the friendship rather than the act of maintaining the friendship, then you could just amend the original contract to have a clearer language. Both parties can sign and you be free. Demon freeing herself from her own contract. <laughs> Typically, it's the clients trying to free themselves from some of the more nasty contracts. Yep, I managed to turn that- Yep, and I managed to turn it around. That's how bad a failure I am at a co as a contract demon. Are you going to quit? Oh, after all this? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, but this is my two weeks' notice. Fuck if I'm gonna be summoned for any more weird, sink me kinky sex shit. Fair enough. I'll miss you around the office, but it's for the best. Also, I kinda had a m problem with my younger sister being the one who gets summoned for all the kinky sex shit. So, can we really just amend the contract and the friendship thing isn't a concern anymore? Yep, just clarify the intention and there's no risk of m more of her soul being taken. Good, good. So, when are you going to probably introduce me to this girl? Or is she really afraid of men? <laughs> no, she's a demon fanatic, so she'll just ask you a thousand strange questions. Some of them will be kind of racist. You should be afraid of her. Noted. I'll have to clear up my schedule a bit if she really has so many questions for me. Alright, I'm going back inside. Thanks for the talk. And dinner... And dinner. It was really good, as always. Sure thing. Don't stay up too late. Night, Olog. Hey, sorry to keep you. Are you going through my things? I was just looking. You have more games and comics than I expected. Is that where you get your inspiration for being demon-like? Never mind that. So what about our first contract? Olog says he can amend it so that it already explicitly fulfilled. Uh, that way there's no risk of me hurting you by being your friend. Aw, oh, you were worried about that? I already told you, whatever the price I have to pay to be with you, it's worth it. Don't say that. It's like throwing your life away. I don't want you to do that. Then, is it possible? You return my feelings? J just because I don't want you to die? That's quite a stretch. Mm-hmm, okay. We can amend the contract. Good. 
There, everything's in order. All your, all of our contracts together have been fulfilled, so you don't have to give me any more of your soul. Now we're free to be friends. We're girlfriends! Uh, slow down. We can be friends, okay? Okay, now what? Now, um... Well, it's pretty late. You may as well stay the night. <laughs> Last time you had a sleepover with me, and now I get to have one with you! Yep, that's how it turned out. Your bed isn't as big as mine was, so we'll have to cuddle pretty close. Uh, I'll sleep on the floor. Aw, even though we've slept in the same bed before, you're being so shy. It's different now, and don't say it like that. Okay! Do you, um, need to borrow pajamas or anything? No, these are my pajamas! <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> do you have any normal clothes? Of course I do, they're just not as comfy. <laughs> You're so strange. Well, what do your pajamas look like? Then we'll see what's so strange. Uh, well, it's a demon, so, um... <laughs> what do you... What are you even expecting? Fine, I'll show you. It's either gonna be super cute or she's gonna be nude. Um, actually, I'll change in the bathroom. Why? It's embarrassing! You're so shy! <laughs> it's just normal pajamas. <laughs> See, normal. You lose the not strange contest. You lose the not strange contest. I'll happily, lo I'll happily lose if I get to see you looking this cute. <laughs> you can't even lose normally, you weirdo. Mm -hmm. It's more fun to be strange anyway. Hey, Camilla, is it hard to sleep on your side because of your horns? Sleep on your side because of the horns? Huh? Not really. I guess now that I think of it, I usually sleep more on my stomach. Do your horns ever hit the bar of your bed frame? Is that why the pillows are placed down lower? Oh, have you impaled your... Oh, have you impaled your walls on accident? Having such big horns seems so dangerous. Are you going to ask me weirdly specific questions all night? Oh no, I forgot to... Oh no, I forgot that makes you mad. <laughs> you don't have to answer. It's kind of racist anyway. Anyway, are you tired? Should we have anything before bed? I want to read one of your books. Oh, okay. I meant something we could do together, but that's fine too. Don't worry, it's totally something we could do together, since the kind of book I wanted to ask for is... Hmm? It's adult comics. I don't have any! Not that I'm willing to share anyway. I have to keep my secrets safe. <laughs> I hope you'll share with me one day. But you know, comics like that just wouldn't satisfy me anymore. Not since you corrupted my heart. Your heart it was plenty corrupt from the beginning. Do you have any demon anatomy books? Maybe that'll be enough. See? You're corrupt as hell! I'll be your dark angel, Camilla! Your edgelord waifu is here to to nuzzle you, ooh ooh! That hurt me to say! <laughs> I know- <laughs> that was a bad joke to begin with, why did I make it if it hurts so much to say? <laughs> You're so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay over! We can go to sleep now if you want. Alright, I'll set up- Alright, I'll set up my sleeping bag. Camilla? Hmm? I'm happy I didn't give up on looking for you. It was really worth it. Is it okay if I hold your hand for a while? You have hands under those sleeves? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were feathery bird hands? Would you be surprised? Let's see. Hmm, feels normal. How disappointing. <laughs> normal? Really? Well, I guess they're pretty small to me, but I'm more used to demon hands. Eleni? Sorry, I just wanted to take in a... Sorry, I just wanted to take in the moment a little. Thanks, Camilla. I'm beginning to... I'm being too nice, probably. I got carried away because she suddenly came back. That's all this is. Holding her hand was pretty incriminating, though. God damn it, I'm a goddamn tsundere. That could have easily been mistaken for something romantic. Ugh. Ah, uh, not only am I a failure as a contract demon, but as a demon in general. Demon of tsundere, oh no. What kind of demon gets into a relationship like this? I can't even make sense of this feel these feelings. So sudden, new. 
Is it because I accident- Is it because I actually started to like her? God, this is so lesbian. You guys are holding hands, looking at each other longingly. You thought about her constantly for several months. So on and so forth. Is this love? Only an lesbian would ask at this point. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. This can't go on. I have to get some of my self-respect back as a demon. I have to be mean. The next day. You made me wear the robe again. I think you like seeing me in it after all. No, I just don't want it, you to draw any attention like yesterday. You can't parade around the netherworld as an angel. It's dangerous. I've been parading around as an angel the whole time I was looking for you. Yeah, I really don't know how you managed that. Maybe it was my angelic luck. But seriously, what makes it so dangerous? What? That was weird. Huh. That was weird. Well, angels represent everything a demon should hate. Someone might start to start a fight. Do you hate angels, Camilla? No comment. What? No fair, you have to answer. I don't have a strong opinion either way. You're the only angel I've met. Hmm. By the way, where are you taking me? To the station. I'm sending you home. What? I don't want to go home. You just... We just reunited. Right. Now you know where I live. So you can come back whenever you want. What's the problem? You're so cold. Even though we held hands so long last night. D don't say that so loud. Other demons will get the wrong idea. Well, we did! You can't just send me away after that! Besides, didn't I mention it before? I don't have a home to go back to at the moment. Oh, where were you staying until now then? I've been living the life of a vagabond. R right, well I quit my job yesterday, so I kind of need to look for a new one. Can't hang out with you today. Then we'll wait at your place, I'll be good. You can't stay with us. You saw how small our apartment is. Olog doesn't even get his own room. That's fine. I'll just become your neighbor instead. Take me to your landlord. Th this is something... This is some form of harassment, isn't it? I I'm sorry. I just don't want to be too far away from you because of... Ah, the pain in my heart. Quit messing around. I'm not messing around. I really, really like you, which is a new feeling for me. Uh oh I guess no one ever liked me that much before. But wait, stop. We're not doing this. Demons don't do romance. That's okay. I don't expect anything from you. I just wanted to be honest about my feelings. At the very least, I won't lie to you about that. I'll find a place to stay so that I'm not bothering you and your brother. So is it okay if we meet up again tomorrow? Um, y yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, bye for now, Camilla. Uh... I'm an idiot. I'm trying to push her away even though she likes me so much. Even though I uh, like being around her. Uh, Baka! Fool! Moron! Dumbass! What am I doing? But it's not like I can just be her girlfriend either. It's too undemon-like. Wait, when did I start caring so much about what's right for a demon to do? To give a good impression of the netherworld, I started thinking that way for my job. Which I just quit. Which means it would be okay after all? This is stupid. I need some outside input. I'll text Solog. Do demons do romance? Lol. <laughs> That's such a sibling thing. Damn him, I should have asked in person. <laughs> I might as well drop by the office then. That's good. Where's my brother? Off oh, sealing a contract, duh. Damn it, I need to talk to him. Why? What's up, Cammy? You know what? Yeah, it might actually be better to talk to you. You know what? Yeah, it might actually be better to talk to you. I can't always rely on my brother for everything. Aw, how mature. I mean, you've been seeing a few other women, as far as I know, so maybe you can help me. Oh, like, you need help getting laid? Yeah, don't talk to your brother about that. <laughs> he isn't asexual anyway. Isn't he asexual anyway? Yes. N no, it's not a sex thing. 
I'm gonna be so conflicted if it was. Huh? Then what's the deal? It's a romantic thing. Oh, oh. Is it that witch you're so obsessed with? Oh, that's so cute. Um, obsessed is a bit of an overstatement. I think it's so cute that a demon would love someone enough to be in that kind of relationship. Most demons just aren't that way, you know? Um, right. Demons don't fall in love normally. D demons don't do such pathetic things like holding hands. You held her hand? Kinky! This is more serious than I thought. That's NSFW on, on one of the sites that Bex w uh, w reads. It, it just felt like the right thing to do in the moment. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't know. Huh, well... Huh, well, I've never been in a romantic relationship, so I can't offer advice there. Someone please answer that goddamn phone! If you need advice for... the bedroom, though, hit me up. Sure. Oh, hold on. Olog just texted me. You should You should do what makes you happy. You should do what makes you happy. Don't worry so much about giving your feelings a name if you don't... If it doesn't sit well with you yet. In time, it may. Or it may not. Either way is valid. Good luck, sis. You got a better answer from him, didn't you? <laughs> Thanks for your help, anyway. I'll be seeing her again tomorrow. Oh, so soon? You better tell me how it goes. I will. Oh, by the way, I quit yesterday. What? No one told her. <laughs> and so... Here it is, my new apartment! As of today, I'm officially a resident of the Netherworld. You really moved in overnight. I'm starting to think your luck is real. <laughs> the landlord ended up liking me a lot, so everything was went really smoothly. Seriously though, this is so uncanny. It looks exactly like your old place in here. Almost as if the creators didn't want to draw a new background. <laughs> yep, isn't magic so convenient? Packing and unpacking is so easy, even though I ended up losing some things. Oh, that's right. Camilla, I have something very important to tell you. What is it? After yesterday, I did a lot of thinking. I get the feeling that you like me at least a little bit, but maybe I haven't opened up enough for you to like me all the way. So I confl- So it conflict with my goals to hide things from now on, which means I have to confess. O okay I've actually been a witch this whole time. Okay. Oh. Calling myself an angel and pretending like I lived in an angel town was all just part of my roleplay. My rings aren't real either. What gave that away? The fact they're so fucking tiny? Or the fact that angels are fucking horrific looking. Seriously, have you seen realistic, uh, have you seen Bible accurate angels? My god. I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you don't hate me. I already knew. Wh what Yeah, have you seen Bible accurate angels? They're kind of horrific. When a de contract demon is summoned, the identity of the summoner shows up in the system. I knew from the start. But, why didn't you say anything if you knew if I was lying about being an angel? Because, what would be the point of trying to call you on it? I mean, I've been wondering your, your reasons, sure, but in the end, I just chalked it up to you being a weirdo. N no, I have a very legitimate reasons for pretending to be an angel. Let's hear it then. I like being an angel because a witch and a demon couple just isn't as exciting to me. So this has been some kind of romantic pursuit from the very beginning. No, it was supposed to be a sexual pursuit. It just happened to turn romantic before we even got to that point. <laughs> I take it back, you might really be unlucky after all. Why? Because you're still gonna reject me? No, it's not that. You're just unlucky I don't think most of the- uh, You're unlucky because I think most other contract demons would have been down to fuck. Camilla, you can't say fuck in an angel's house. <laughs> you said it too. Camilla! Aw. Hey, you can't just tackle me down onto the bed every time you want to punish me. I'm the host right now, so I can do whatever I want. Last time it was at my house. As a guest, I could do whatever I want, too. The bottom line is, I can do whatever I want, you just have to deal with it. Aw. Like this. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm so happy, I get to cuddle with Camilla. I'll allow it for today. Um, hey, Eleni? I actually have something I wanted to say, too. Okay, but if you're gonna tell me that you're just role-playing a demon all along, I don't want to hear it. It's not that. I mean, seriously, how do I get my eyes to look like this? <laughs> I'm 
Sorry about yesterday. When you showed up again after so long, I had a lot of confusing feelings to sort out. It took me a little while to, um, accept how I feel about you. Wh which is... I still don't know what to call, exactly. But maybe it's something close to a romantic feeling? I even though that's weird for a demon to have. So I guess I'm a fake demon after all. <laughs> a fake demon and a fake angel couple. That's a pretty good premise. Okay, I'll accept you as my girlfriend. Th that's what I'm trying to say to you. <laughs> I didn't think I would reach my goal so fast. Now I have to move on to the next one. <laughs> and what could that possibly be? I have lots of embarrassing ones that I can't say out loud. They're surprises for <laughs> my girlfriend. I already regret this. Want to know one of my goals I can actually tell you? Sure. Become the next overlord! Then I'll make you my secretary! <laughs> well, I did need a new job. Then it's decided! We'll take over the netherworld together! You're such a dangerous angel. <laughs> Aww! Aww, oh, that's so fucking cute! Y'all, happy end. Alright, so, um... I really enjoyed it. It's really cute. Uh, nice and short. Um, I do recommend it if you like these sweet little Yuri stories. And, um, as I've said at the beginning, this person, Nami, has made several, several Yuri slash lesbian, um, uh, visual novels and stuff. I think they have an entire series that, um, I will get to, like, probably years from now. I like to wait several years so that everyone who would have found these naturally has found them naturally. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, because I don't, I don't want to take, like, the potential... Like, I don't, I don't want to cover a visual novel that just came out or anything, because then that would make people less likely to check it out. But this has been around for a while. If you know about it, you know about it. And hopefully some of you guys know about it, so now you're gonna go check out this person, check out their other works. Um, and I think this was a... I think this was a lot of fun. I liked this. This was very cute, very, very sweet. Um, it, it didn't go the, it sort of went the direction I thought it was, but a completely different way. So, um, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm happy with it though. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, so yeah, the, the, um, a demons I've noticed, this is a bit of a tangent, but demons I've noticed come up a lot in... Um, less actual, like, less western lesbian and more Yuri, as in, like, you know, uh, East Asian type stories and stuff. Um, demons come up a lot in Yuri fiction for some reason. Um, I guess because they don't, they have less of a taboo against the concepts and stuff, but there's just something really awesome about demons. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it, 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 you 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 might get you might get what I'm trying to say, um, and so this is probably the cutest version of a demon I've seen. Usually they go for like like a pure cool kind of aesthetic, or or a or a sexy kind of aesthetic. This one went with like something more um, realistic, I guess is what I'm looking for. Uh, so not realistic to demons, realistic as in two people living in the world kind of thing. Um, so I, I really enjoyed it. Um, very, very sweet. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm repeating myself now. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for Contract Demon. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join me next time. I love you. And bye bye